Hey, so part of this course and the part of my introduction is like, can you solve equations, right? Because you guys are in a basically a senior level science class, and so you have to do some algebraic rearranging. So this sheet that is the next part of the assignment, um, I'm asking you on all the equations to solve for m, and uh, so you know. Even if you're pretty good at it, maybe you haven't done equation rearranging in a while. So I'm just talking you through these. If you are good at this, or you think you're good at this, um, we'll see, right? Because you're you're you don't have to print this out. You can just uh, rewrite the original equation. I want you to show the steps that you're taking to get to the right answer, and then put a circle or a box around your solved equation, right? So. I'm just going to talk about these in general to try to get you unstuck on some of the trickier ones. This is the easiest one because you're just going to multiply both sides by P and you'll be done, right? This one's a little harder and if you haven't done rearranging in a while, this would bother people. And what you have to do is get this M out of the denominator first, so multiply both sides by M. And this will make this side MR and it'll cancel the M there. So you'll end up with MR equals A. You're solving for M, right? So now you need to divide both sides by R and then you'll be done. Okay, but this is usually after a, a summer off, one that people can be rusty at. This one, you have to get that two over to the other side first, then you need to do the rearranging. So this one's pretty hard. Um, so I would first subtract two from both sides, and that would be t minus two equals b over m. Then I would multiply both sides by m, right? And then divide by what the term, I would put it in parentheses. So t minus two gets divided in parentheses by into both sides so that you get m by itself. So there's another route you could take to that, but that's a way to do it. Uh, for number four, for this one, I would divide both sides by two, and then the parentheses would disappear, and then subtract the b. Okay? Uh, this one we're solving for m again, so you're going to get rid of that b, and then you're going to take the square root. In math class, don't forget this is quadratic, it has two solutions, so you'd get a plus or minus on that. Uh, for this one, um, let me see if I can unlock this and bring it over so you can see it. Um, so this one is like, this looks like a pretty awkward equation, but this is actually a similar to a, you know some of the physics equations we solve later in the year. So, um, you can divide both sides by the quantity 2 pi. Then you're going to square both sides. Then you're going to get rid of the b. Okay? When you square both sides, don't forget that this whole term, maybe you want to use parentheses, gets squared. Right? So it'll end up be quantity t divided by 2 pi squared on that second step. And if I'm losing you, um, you know, if, in other words, if I'm talking about this too fast, that's a good indication that you should ask for a little help. It's not uncommon that out of a group of 20 kids, one or two kids is more rusty at this and needs a little bit of help. And it's just good if you just say, hey, I'm not so good at this. Maybe we can set up a Zoom session at some point. I'll, I'll get you help on it. These are skills that you need to use as the year progresses. And they're not skills that are taught in this class. So this is the purpose of this sheet is to flush out people that need some help so that I can help you, okay? Uh, solving this for m, this one's a little easier. The square doesn't really, the square is only on the v there, so it would end up being, you know, maybe multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the half, and then divide by v squared, and then you're done. Uh, this one's a little harder because it's on the bottom, and you're going to end up having to take the square root at, uh, at the end, right, the last step. So good luck with that, and again, if, you know, I'm not showing you the answers this time, I'm just sort of getting you going. Uh, email me if you just hate this stuff or think you're bad at it so I know, right, so I can help you. Uh, thanks, and I hope your weekend went or is going well. Take care.